Today, we're going to achieve the Platinum Trophy in Far Cry 5. As some of you might already know, we've already got the Platinum Trophy for Far Cry 3. So for this installment, it's set in Hope County, which is a fictional region of Montana in the United States. The story focuses around a doomsday cult, which has the leader called Joseph Seed. And the whole point of the game is to get rid of these cult leaders. So we have to take out his three main lieutenants and then of course take him out at the end. But of course, a platinum journey isn't always that simple. And for this one, we're going to have to play through the story. We're going to have to do a couple of miscellaneous stuff. And unfortunately, we're also going to have to dive into the multiplayer, which is pretty bad. So for this one, the difficulty is a 3 out of 10. We're only going to need one playthrough. There's no missable trophies and it's going to take about 25 hours. So we're going to tackle it in three simple steps. Step one though, let's complete the story. Jesus, what am I playing here? Far Cry or a freaking zombie apocalypse? <laughs> what the hell? Pretty cool intro though. The first trophy we grab is the spark for completing the game's intro. Nice, says our first trophy. As we're exploring, we go and save Boomer, our new favourite companion. <laughs> What's this? Man's best friend story mission. I'm just casually flying, doing a mission. No, no big deal. And this happens. The hell? Someone just jump off the bridge. The next trophy we grab is a wing and a prayer, which is for flying Nick's plane. Wingman completed. Then we grab close and personal. Close and personal. What's that one? Perform 25 close combat takedown kills. Good shit. Get out my way, bro. We then get slapped up by these guys. But don't worry. We get our revenge. Next up we get what now for completing three side missions. Ooh, got a trophy. What now? We then grab Road Gunner. Oh nice. Road Gunner. What's that one? While driving or leaning out of a vehicle, 20, uh, kill 25 enemies. We then grab You Are Wrath. We then go buy some clothes and get fashion first. Ooh, I got a trophy. Fashion first, purchase 1,000 in clothing. The next one we grab is Scavenger. Ooh, another trophy, Scavenger. Follow the clues to the end of three treasure hunts. Hell yeah. Grab all this cash, mate. It's mine, brother. My money. Next, we get Liberator, which is for liberating five locations. Got this one super early. Ooh, another trophy. Liberator. I attempt to do something good, save these fine people, but it doesn't really go as planned. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, I just tried to save the civilians and I shot the driver and the the truck raid off the road and went straight into the water. I feel like an asshole now. Right, let's just Let's keep moving, pretend that didn't happen. Next, we get Kicking at the Hornet's Nest. Ooh, Kicking at the Hornet's Nest. Trigger the Wrath of the Herald? No idea what that means, but I'm guessing it's because I've filled up the gauge, the meter for the, uh, the boss in this area. Honestly, I have no idea what happened here. What did... What just happened? What? What did I just do right there? Um. Okay, now I'm just kind of like floating under the map. Do I just tr tr drop? What do I do? Oh, okay, now I'm dead. <laughs> that was well random. What the hell? Bro. I swear that any time we have to get in like a plane or a chopper, or anything like that, the game falls apart. The controls are trash. And it just seems like you, your vehicle blows up so fast. I'm guessing there's probably some kind of perk to improve the uh, the defense on them or something, because they're so weak. It's crazy. 
get the bunker key from John. What, in, in midair? Oh, he's going to crash and then go pick it up. Wait, what the hell did he just do? Did he jump out? Where'd he go? I think he just jumped out. Where is he? I think I just saw him like parachuting or something. I can't see him though. Where is he? There he is. He is parachuting. Oh, there he is. What oh, shit? Can I blow up his? Can I like destroy his? <laughs> oh my god! Look at him. Wee! Bye bye, John. Freaking noob. Saving Deputy Hudson is next. Yeah. Good luck with that. A trophy saving Deputy Hudson saved him. Of course, cool, so that's the first of the three lieutenants done. John Seed, see you later, mate. I absolutely suck at flying planes in this game. We then get Ain't No Wallflower. Oh, Ain't No Wallflower. What's that for? Who are these people? Speak to 50 citizens of Hope County. Oh, nice. Got that pretty early. Good stuff. Yeah, this woman is on. She's been on too much of that weird white powder. <laughs> She's absolutely high as a kite. It's crazy though, because I'd say like, so far the story, some of the missions are really, really good. And then some of them are absolutely terrible. There's no middle ground for the most part. They're either really good or really bad. I'm really enjoying the the uh, the side missions though as well. To be fair, a lot of the side missions in this are so far have been really good as well. Another lieutenant, and we grab walk the path, discover the bliss. Ooh, walk the path. After that, we go take on a side mission, and we grab Peachy Keen. Eee kitty kitty, Peachy Keen. Wait, I got a trophy. Peachy bait peaches into going back home, and I'm getting. What the hell? Where did that thing just come from? So then we complete the second lieutenant and we grab the trophy oh, Blissful nice. for saving Marshall. Ignorance is bliss. Ooh, we got a trophy. We then go and grab Sewer Rat for destroying a cult water treatment pump. You know what, you guys might not see it, but do you know what, this kind of reminds me of a little bit. Reminds me of Evelyn a little bit, you know, from Resident Evil 7. She has, uh, even when you like do that weird little um, view of the bakers before she like manipulated them and changed them. Even that's like a green like haze, isn't it? I mean, maybe I'm way off. Maybe no one else thinks that at all, but yeah, it's just kind of the vibe I'm getting a little bit, you know? Then finish off the next lieutenant and grab the trophy, saving Sheriff Whitehorse. Jesus, finally. I'm out of there. That was ridiculous. It took... It felt like it took forever to get out of that bunker. I probably used more valves in that one mission than I have in any other game I've ever played combined. <laughs> Woo. Saving Sheriff Whitehorse. Hell yeah, good shit. Making good progress now, we just beat the second lieutenant, so we just got the final lieutenant now. We then take a little bit of time to relax and we grab locked and loaded for buying all attachments for one weapon. We then get only you for completing our first trial. Ooh, a trophy. Next we end up getting in a firefight and someone steals my freaking chopper. The f out my chopper. Bro, she just took... She just stole my chopper. Yo, give me my chopper back. Bro. Yo, get your ass back down here. What do you mean, sweetheart? No, that's my chopper, darling. Where's my chopper? Where'd she go? She destroyed my chopper, haven't she? Jesus Christ. That's just rude, bro. Shortly after that, we try another trial and things get out of control. 
coming off of the first leg of the course. Um. Oh my God. Jesus, what is? I don't know what's happening right now. Um. Where am I? <laughs> I don't know what just happened. Oh <sighs> uh, well, I know we failed. Oh nice, we got a trophy for it. The greatest SOB that ever lived. Uh, laugh in danger's face by executing a clutch Nixon stunt in each region. Oh nice, so I don't think we have to do all of them. But we needed to do one in each area. Good stuff. Though those um stunt things weren't too bad. There was one that I did that was flying and I absolutely hated that one, but the rest of them was pretty good to be fair, so yeah, that was uh was a good one. Next, we do a little bit of crafting. We grab extra crafty for crafting 25 recipes. Oh, a trophy. Extra crafty. Once we've done that, though, we go on a little bit of a detour and we save a new companion, a bear called Cheeseburger. And no, I'm not joking. He's actually called Cheeseburger. Yeah, I'm Cheeseburger's rampage through here. Is this Cheeseburger here? <gasps> There's Cheeseburger. I'm coming for you, Cheeseburger. <clears throat> For some reason, I assumed he'd, he'd really like cheeseburgers, you know? There he is. He's got cheeseburgers on his collar. <laughs> Go on, cheeseburger. We got you, big guy. Yo, we're going to be able to have cheeseburger following us around. That's so, so sick. I love that in this one, you can actually recruit animals. It's so cool. Good boy, cheeseburger. There he is. Yo, what up, Cheeseburger? Whoa, where's he going? Uh-oh. <laughs> People are coming for us. Get him, Cheeseburger. Get him. I've got you back. Oh, my God. He's ravaging them. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> Yo, I would not be trying to tackle a bear. That, that's crazy. I mean, I know these guys are crazy, but... Hell, yeah. Oh. Diabetes. <laughs> All right, no cheeseburgers for cheeseburger. Got it. The right to bear arms. That was cool. That was good. We then do this challenge, which I absolutely sucked at. I think I failed it about ten times. But while we were failing, I got like a bird, which is for using okay. the wingsuit to travel more than five thousand meters. Oh my god. What am I doing? What what was that? That was the worst attempt in the history of attempts. Oh, I got a trophy. I don't know what that was for. Like a bird. I don't know what it was. We'll have a look in a minute. I failed. God damn it. I'm not normally this much of an ass. I promise. Oh my god. We then get Troublemaker, which is for destroying a piece of cult property in every region. Oh, I got a trophy. Then we finally finish off Jacob. Screw you, Jacob. Next, we get Saving Deputy Pratt. And then we get the final story trophy, which is Together Forever. Together Forever. Hell yeah. I think that's the story complete now. All right, so there it is. We got to the end of Far Cry 5. I uh, I actually really, really enjoyed this. I've enjoyed the gameplay. I've enjoyed, I've actually really enjoyed the story as well. So that might be an unpopular opinion, but I actually really like this game. Um, but yeah, that's step one complete. Of course, now we're gonna have to move on to step two, which is all of the miscellaneous stuff. So with that said, let's play some more Far Cry 5. So the first one we do is Special Delivery, which is, uh, ensure a baby's safe passage into the world. <laughs> that is exactly what I was just thinking. Who the hell made this an obstacle course? Come on, let's get you home. <laughs> nice, nice. There it is, baby delivered. Hell yeah. Special Delivery. And there's our trophy for special delivery as well. Hell yeah, that was a that was a really, really fun mission. We then take on another side mission. This one is Science Fact, which is for helping Larry. Oh, oh, he's gone. 
he left his shoes though. <laughs> right, there's a chance this could glitch out and not give me the trophy, so... Oh, we got it. Nice. Science fact. Put aside skepticism and help Larry. Yeah, there was a... This one was considered buggy that it might not unlock. And I didn't make a backup save before I started doing the missions. So, uh, super happy that it didn't bug out for us. I then grab stocked garage for buying three vehicles. Oh, we got a trophy. All right, so once I've got this collectible, this should give me the trophy for collecting one of each type of collectible. Yep, there we go. Pack rat. Grab one of each collectible type. Super, super, super easy this one compared to uh, Far Cry 3 where you needed like 60 of the relics and stuff like that. This one was so easy. You needed one of each six types. So yeah, literally six collectibles, so. Next we get ignoble beasts for beating the crap out of a bison with a melee weapon. Boom. <laughs> ignoble beasts. We just got that for beating the crap out of a bison with a... Get off me, little turd. Next, we get Ghost Kill, which is for performing a headshot with a bolt or a rifle for 150 meters. Oh shit, Ghost Kill. Nice. I wasn't even trying to get that there. That's for the 150 meters uh, kill by headshot by either a rifle or bow. Yeah, I was not expecting to get that one there. That was, that was, uh, that was good. Things get a bit bloody, fertilizing the land. We use the tractor, we obliterated five enemies. Boom! Fertilizing the land. Hell yeah, that's, that's pretty funny. I bought a tractor as well that's got like a nasty ass blade thing on the front, so I'm just making them splat. I then went and bought a load of skills, and that gave us survivalists for purchasing half of all the perks. Oh, another trophy. Survivalist purchase half of all perks available. Sweet. Next we get Explosive Surprise, which is for killing five enemies with a sabotaged vehicle. You just need to buy the perk, run over to a vehicle, hold square, wait for it to blow up. Oof, Explosive Surprise. Next we get Where's the Beef? which is to tenderize a bull with your bare hands. This one was uh, pretty funny. Dude! Bro, I'm trying to beat the freaking thing up. Stop shooting at it. Yo, how long does this take? Gee, I'm getting my ass whipped. Freaking thing is gonna kill me. It's gonna kill me, it's gonna kill me. Oh my God. Bro. Are you freaking kidding me, bro? I just, oh my days. Oh, it's easier to use one of these. Furious. Okay, let's consume that. Right, now, let's try again. Oh my god. <laughs> Where's the beef? Hey, that made it a lot easier. When you punched it once, it flew away. Next is Opportunity Knox. Probably one of the worst trophies in the game, other than the multiplayer. The usual thing, use a rock. Distract the enemies 15 Let times. Super annoying, kill. super boring. Let but we did it. You of what you in oh my god, finally. Opportunity knocks. It didn't even return back to his position. I just threw it. Right, anyway, yeah. Distract 15 enemies. Finally done. That one was just... Just as annoying as it was in Far Cry 3. I think it was in Far Cry 4 as well. Yeah. Terrible trophy. I don't know why they keep putting it in the games. I did that way more than 15 times. Um, some guides were saying you can do it on the same enemy. I did it on the same enemy probably 20, 30 times and it didn't unlock. I finally started doing it on a few different enemies and it unlocked. So I can't say 100% sure, but I would probably say you, you need to do it on different enemies personally. We then get squash and run, which is for running over 20 enemies. I had so much trouble doing this one. I don't know why, but yeah, this one, uh, this one was a bit of a headache. Um, what the hell just happened? What is happening? I'm so confused. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> I'm trying to run enemies over for the trophy and my car's going crazy. 
Bro, why does it feel like I... It feels like I have to run the enemies over about 10 times to actually kill them. Bro, what is happening with this game right now? Bro, what is happening? This... <laughs> this game, bro, what is happening? I've literally, like, I think I've had, like, one glitch my entire time playing this game until probably the past hour. I've had about six glitches. It, it, it's ridiculous. I don't know what is happening to this game right now. Oh my god, finally. Squash and run. Boom. Got it. Run over 20 enemies. Finally. No lie. Hardest trophy in the game so far. <laughs> Glad it's done. Glad it's done. Next, we grab death from above, which is for dropping a bomb on from a plane and destroying four vehicles at once. We cheese this one, it so would... made it a little what? bit easier. The vehicle would just... Literally just there. I looked and it were there. I get on the vehicle and it's gone. Like, what is happening? I'm going to try, like, I'm going to try park them in front of me because it just seems if I move the camera away, they just despawn. So weird. What? What? What just happened? Bro, I don't... What's happening? Where did my plane go? Bro, what the f... What? How? How is this happening? Bro, <laughs> it's happening! It's driving me crazy, this. It's like the game's just suddenly become super gl glitchy. Like, what? Oh, my God. All right, finally, the... Bro... Yo, it it literally just despawned right in front of my eyes. Like, why? Come on, quick. Boom. Death from above. Drop a bomb from a plane and destroy or disable four vehicles at once. Finally, that was annoying with all the despawning, uh, despawning vehicles. Yeah, if you're having trouble with that one, if anyone's going for it and you're having trouble, come to this airstrip here. On the map, just above the Fang Center, there's a hangar and a garage right next to each other. Get the hangar, get the vehicle, and then you just need to spawn three quads. But just do it super quick so they don't despawn, and uh, you should get it. Ace Killer, destroy 10 planes while driving an aerial vehicle. One with cheese, just like the previous one. We go grab a chopper, and then we fly over to one of our hangars, spawn planes, and just keep destroying them. There we go. Next, we get fish market for selling 20 fish. Acquiring all the fishing rods, we got plenty of fish to sell. We then grab Hope County Master Angler, which is for acquiring all four fishing rods, which required us to grab one of each type of fish in the game. And they all had to be the heaviest fish leaderboard record. Hey, there we go. That's the golden trout done. Bro, I was just trying to fish. Come on now. Nice. Lake trout done. Oh, nice. Got that one first attempt. And now I'm being slapped up by a freaking bear. Fuck her off. Leave me alone, man. I just want to fish and I keep getting attacked by animals. Well, you know the old saying. Weep. Paddle fish done. There we go. Smallmouth bass. Done. Ooh. Largemouth bass. Okay, that was exactly eight. I need eight. That was exactly eight, so hopefully it counts. But that's that one done. So I feel like I've discovered a pretty good, like, strategy for catching the fish easier. When you catch them like this, just walk all the way back. And it pulls them in, like, really easy. And then you can just do that and walk over to them. It's so much easier. Hey, first try as well. Rock bass, we needed a three. We got 3.4. But yeah, if, if you are struggling with the fishing, do that. Just catch the fish, walk back. It'll just basically pull them really close to the shore and then just walk over to the shore and you can catch them 
within a few seconds so easy. Nice. The Chinook Salmon. First try. Hell yeah. Nice. There's the Kokani Salmon done. Nice. There we go. The Arctic Grayling. That should be the last one we need. So now I'm just going to head back to town and the trophy should be ours. Hey, there it is. Hope County Master Angler. So that was for acquiring all four fishing rods. Sweet. Yeah, that one was uh, meant to take quite a long time, but we must have just got super, super lucky with that one because it did not take very long. With all that money, what can we do? We can go and grab Big Spender, which is for spending 50,000 on vehicles. Hey, there we go. Big Spender. I was wondering when that one was going to pop up. That's for spending 50,000. Next, one of my mates, Bean, absolute legend, dropped in for co-op so we could get hitting it off, which is for playing three quests with a friend. Oh shit, I got it. Hitting it off. Play three quests with a friend. Boom. Easy, mate. <laughs> that was literally like two seconds. Oh, five days. What? Bro, he just blew me up. I got the trophy. The hurt clocker. <laughs> oh my God. Bro, I'm dying. Please pick me up. Did he blow you up as well? Been there. Done that. Complete all hunting and fishing challenges. Nice. There it is. Been there. Done that. Complete all hunting and fishing challenges. Hell freaking yeah. All right. So that's step two complete. So all we've got left to do now is step three, which is we got to go and do the uh, the online trophies. There's only five of them, I think, though. Um, all these arcade ones. Two of them, I think, are like actual like PvP multiplayer, and then the other three are just kind of like co-op missions and stuff. So that's the final step for the Platinum. So let's do it. So, of course, we're now on to the final five trophies, the arcade trophies. These are absolutely boring. First up, though, arcade hero. Boom. There we go. Arcade hero. Play the arcade hero five times. Luckily, you don't have to finish the, the levels um, because I was only able to finish one. This mode, maybe I just got unlucky, but this mode was absolutely trash. All five of the maps, absolute just crap. <laughs> Horrible. All right, so I'm currently doing these arcade level things. I've got a complete 10, the featured levels. And I, I'm on, honestly, I've never seen a game I'm trying to platinum go from up here, all the way up here in fun, to down, all the way down here in 10 minutes. Then we get arcade enthusiast. Awesome. There we go. Arcade enthusiast. So that's for successfully completing 10 of the featured ones. These. Arcade trophies are so boring and tedious, but that one's done. So all we've got now is, I think, the multiplayer, which is to play 10 featured multiplayer maps. Or win, actually, 10 featured multiplayer maps. Kill 100 enemies and then get to level 20. So we're almost there. We're almost done. We then grab Arcade Hunter for killing 100 en enemies. I actually had someone that helped me out with this to make it a little bit easier. So appreciate it, my guy. Nice. Arcade Hunter, kill 100 enemies in Arcade Multiplayer Suite. So we only got two more now. We then grab Arcade Player, which is for reaching level 20 in Arcade. Nice. Arcade Player. So that's for reaching level 20 in Arcade. So all I've got to do now is one more trophy, which is to win 10 featured matches. So I think I only need like two more wins or something. So the Platinum is... It's right there. It's right there. I can feel it. I can taste it. And then the final trophy we grab is Arcade Competitor. Win 10 featured maps in multiplayer. Awesome. Boom. There it is. Arcade Competitor. And then boom. We always had faith in you. There it is. The Platinum Trophy is finally ours. Overall, this Platinum Journey, I really, really, really enjoyed the single player stuff. Amazing. Really fun. But yeah, a lot of people might disagree, but this is actually my favorite Far Cry game so far. I like it more than 3, and I like it more than Primal and 4. So uh, yeah, really enjoyed it. These trophies at the end, though, these multiplayer trophies and the 
arcade mode stuff absolutely terrible so boring and just not good at all if it wasn't for these few trophies at the end this whole platinum journey would have been amazing and it would have been so much fun but because of the uh, these few trophies at the end it kind of brought it down a lot but uh yeah i hope you enjoyed the journey i hope you enjoyed the video consider leaving a like check out one of the videos consider subscribing until next time i'll catch you all on the next video